Okay, so this tutorial is going to talk about uh, the introduction to daylighting in Studio Max, and uh, you can see we're moving along through the, the previous tutorials that we've already done here. We've got all of our materials mapped uh, onto the objects as we went through, and so now we're ready to actually start to embed some of the lighting features in, in Studio Max. So the first thing we need to do uh, over on the uh, um, Generation tab, we're going to go ahead and do Systems. We're going to hit Daylight, and this is going to immediately going to prompt us um, to set up some of the stuff. And we want to hit OK. It's going to give us logarithmic exposure control and set this up so that we can actually have the daylighting system embedded properly. So you always want to hit Yes for this. Go ahead, and we're going to click once to get it to start, and then click twice to release it. Uh, as soon as you're done with that, um, you want to hit the arrow selection tool so you don't accidentally draw two suns. And uh, that's an important feature there. And you can see we have a symbol in here, um, and the symbol is twofold. One, it, it shows the direction of the sun, and then the dome on that is a symbol that indicates that there is now a, a global um, environment surrounding it, surrounding the entire model at the limits here. So we go under the Modify tab, we can go through and actually start to control some of the features about this. The first thing we're going to go through is we're going to set the date and time, and go through and we can go ahead and get location. It pulls up a map of the United States. We can set this as close as we can to where we are, Topeka, Kansas. So we'll hit OK. And we can set the time of the day and the day of the year. That's all been pre-calculated. So I'm going to go ahead and set this at uh, 4 in the evening. Okay. All right. And so we have our location and time set for the uh, model. You can see that that updated to be accurate to for that particular time of the year. And then this is for June, and we'll go ahead and just set it for today. October 9th of this year. All right, you can see that all this is updating. All right, so we'll deselect that and then we'll go ahead and select it again so we can get back to the modify tab in here. And now we need to go ahead and adjust the daylighting parameters. Now we're going to be using mental ray, so that's Mr. Sun and Mr. Sky. And it's going to ask you if you want to create an environmental map and uh, this is going to be dependent on what you want to do. Uh, in general, you're going to say yes. Uh, you can always change it later um, if you want to do a material map or something like that and map uh, an actual image of the sky. You can change that elsewhere. And that's actually, you can change it. I'll show you under the environment here. If you press number eight or you go in here, we can actually come here and you can see that that's uh, now able to be edited. Okay. So now at this point, we can go ahead and do a test render. If you press F10, uh, it'll pull that up. Uh, or we can go ahead and do a render setup, pull this up. Um, there's a couple of things we want to do here. We don't, we're going to end up messing with this here shortly, but uh, we're going to go ahead, first off, change the aspect ratio on this. And then we're going to also change this to force two-sided on the materials, in case we don't have, we have the backside of one of these materials somewhere. All right, and so from here, we're actually ready. And then we're oriented, and you can see we have some of this stuff applied. Go ahead and hit render. This is going to do a small version of this. And you can see that this is obviously not right. Uh, we don't have all of our environments um, appropriately loaded, but this is starting to get there. We have, do have some of the sun in here. Set this to mental ray daylighting. So this is going to go ahead and um, set up all the global illumination and all of the environment stuff that we need. So it's actually set up. You see that immediately uploaded here. So now when we hit render, we're going to be able to see that all of this actually started to update uh, on our systems here. And we're actually going to see, we can see the shadows are being cast. Uh, we got all our nice soft shadows, all of this stuff. It's looking nice and crisp. So I'll go ahead and cancel out of that. And now we're ready to start positioning our camera and uh, setting up some of the render features here. So we have our, we already have the Force 2 sided on. Now we're ready to increase the size of our rendering. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just click one of the presets. Uh, as you guys go through this, you might do a really nice large scale rendering uh, for this function that we, we want to not take forever because we're just demonstrating this. So we're going to do this at the output size. We already have our mental ray daylighting set up. We have our rendering scheme. Now we need to position our camera, and we can change, again, the field of view. I've gone through this previously by going here, so we get a little bit more of the space. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Render. 
And this is going to take care of the vast majority of this. We're going to render this out. This is going to feel a little bit dark, but um, not to worry. We're going to go ahead and process this again through Photoshop. So start to mess with the uh, exposure features once we actually get some of this in here. So while that renders, I'll go ahead and pull that up just to give you a sense of what this is going to start to look like as we get in here. We'll go ahead and pause this and you, through the magic of video editing you will see it appear you know, here in a moment. Alright, so now the rendering is complete, we can go ahead and hit save. That's the first thing you want to make sure you do. Call it render we'll call it render number three. Make sure we save that. You can save it as a JPEG. Okay, maximize that quality. Alright, and you can go ahead and then we can go ahead and close this down. And minimize this. We'll go ahead and pull that up in Photoshop here. Hit Control O. And that rendering up. You can see it's a little bit dark. So we're going to go ahead and under Image Adjustments Exposure, we're going to increase the exposure here. Brighten this rendering up a little bit. Okay. And then we can also come in here, image, start to adjust um, the sat hue and saturation in here, just to make this a little bit more vibrant. There you, you can see that has a gives it a really nice pop, it makes that sunset feel a little bit more powerful as well. Hit save, and then we can do a little bit of clever cropping. Yeah. Subject matter, this isn't so much the stairs. Right. We get, make sure we capture the whole space. And then go ahead and hit Control Shift Save As. Rendering 3. And we never want to edit our original, so we'll go ahead and hit Save. And then we're done. And that took about five minutes for that to render out. 